here at Breakaway Arena. And today's January 21st. Hello, I'm Bill Allen along with Steve Parfum. We're here with Tewksbury Telemedia bringing you yet another great matchup today because the uh, defending Division II MIAA state champions, the Tewksbury Redmen, and the, today it's the Concord Carlisle Kyli uh, Patriots. They'll face off here. We're bringing you the game on January 21st. It's Saturday, streaming live from Breakaway Arena. <coughs> Got my program here. All right, I'm set for action. And so are the players. Puck down, Jeremy and Sogna, Matthew Cook and Kyla Brown. Kyla Barnes, pardon me, that's for the Redmen. Barnes right off the backhand to save. In goal today, it's Jason Swaim for Concord. CC, Concord, Kyle Isle. They're the Patriots. And the puck, Pats throw it in. And Sogna for Tewksbury. <coughs> On the wall, Barnes. And chipped out there. Good play. That's in Sogna on the right wing with a push. He's got some help in the background. Barnes now behind the back wall. Gets pinned up there by Cam Daly. Concord Carlisle throws it off the bench. They say uh, play continues. Thought it might have hit a glove. Chipped all the way down deep into the Tuxbury zone. Benny O'Keefe, of course, between the pipes for the Redmen. As DiCaccio, the captain, he's got one more play to go. God, he went through three or four of them. Almost did the long ice rush. We've seen a number of those this year. Chip Dick, Cooper Robillard, the chip. On the wall, Flynn helps. As Tuxbury's changed up, they're out there with Crimin. Brady Chapman, number 24, happy to report he's back in action today after missing last game. He had a uh, face laceration or uh, had to get himself healed up from a previous game a couple back, and he wasn't able to play against the uh, uh, the previous game. Redman had played Boston Latin, coming off a 3-1 to one victory on Wednesday the 18th, bringing their record to 8-1 and one as they come through, playing their 10th game here, halfway through the season, and they're doing well. Cole Mangan from the point. Got a good look at that one. Cullen ripped it. it was deflected into the netting. Patriots coming off a uh, victory of their own. I believe that was a 3-1 to one victory over North Andover. who gave uh, Tewksbury a run for their money. Redmen defeated North Andover 1 to nothing earlier this season. They had a 50-plus shot effort and a great job by the goaltender. Oh, it was three on one, Tewksbury line out there. Civitrice involved, and then, of course, number 12, Tyler Poiget, good faceoff man. Works the corner as well. DeFranco throws it down the right wall, behind the net now. DeFranco again. Good idea there by, why not, to hop over? Why not trying to find the puck between the skates? Civitrice. The chip on the wall, control, good job. Tenacious work by the Redmen. See if they can keep it in. Going for a swipe, nice job. And you're able to change as a result of that. Heads up play you just saw there by Andrew, why not? Chipped over, tough pass, a little too hot. Barnes back out there now. Tyler. With the help of Matthew Cook, who's been hot. He's got goals in the last few games. They fire it around. Cook will pick it up on the wall there. He'll make space for himself. Barnes always going left woods and breaking out. Cook again with the good hands, twisting and turning. Luke Ramis, the defenseman for CC. Patriots will try again by their bench. Puck on. Tewksbury with the territorial advantage early on. It's just joining us, it's 11.41 to go here. We're at Breakaway Arena. And the Tewksbury Redmen back to work. It's the Concord Carlisle Patriots. Patriots come in with a uh, overall record of six and five. Of course, I've mentioned the Redmen at eight and one. Oh boy. Big, big hit that time. 
captain, Nick DiCiaccio. That was Gunnar Lyons. He's feeling that one. Lyons now trying to pursue the puck. Cook still out there. No, Tuxbury will go for a change now. And it's DiCiaccio right side. Neutral zone, can't connect. Puck turns over, he has a break, turnover. And it's Benny O'Keefe on Derek Labandi. Labini, as I should pronounce it. What a streaker, that's the um, forward junior streaking in alone there. But he ran out of space. O'Keefe stalled him at the right post. Now a long pass, connects, Cook. Uh oh, deflected. Good idea, he stopped. Got a look at the net, but it was deflected out with the help of defenseman uh, Reynos who recovered. Concord Carlisle ranked 10th. Got a minute to speak with uh, their coach, Rian Murray. Let's get the team going well. He uh, rotates both goaltenders. Today we see Jason Swain, CJ Bailey. There's a thread on cue there. Swain with the glove save. Look cool and collective. No rebound. And play on. DeFranco now trying to throw it in. Couldn't go diagonal. Chapman now with some help over there on the, the right wall. Crimin now indirectly finds DeFranco and throws it at the wall. Good idea with the screen. Loose puck. Crimin now circles right wall behind the end boards. He's got help with Chapman. It's a two on two. Brady comes out with it. Throws it in front. Good backup. Uh, Cam Duell, he gets stumped off for his good efforts. He collected the uh, puck in front, and the play goes. Big hit that time. Michael Connors, as both teams are starting to throw the body around. Boje, <coughs> why not? Clogging the center ice line on the right wall. Turned over now, it's Jay Carter, who scored a goal in the last game. As a matter of fact, he scored two over the three to one North Andover victory we were talking about. Through a screen, whoa. Why not takes that one? A lot of shot blocking. Keep the pressure up, Benny O'Keefe. Benny's got the puck now behind the net. Tuxbury zone, trying to break out on the right wall. Why not gets pinched. Connors goes the other way by the Tuxbury bench. Tries to collect there with uh, Aid McDonald. Doesn't work. Controlled by Jay Carter. Got to watch him. Throws it to the net. Could always hit a skate or something. Go in. Skate it off now. It's Boje. Tyler's a good skater. Gets in deep. Sets it up. McDonald using his size. It's the Redmen double team. Barnes always going. Hits his man and they're able to keep the puck in. Robo out at the point. Able to push it down left side. Down behind the cage now. Robillard reads it, he can't collect it. Back to cover for him, it's Matty Cook. Oh, had the right idea, just a little uh, hot on the pass. That's gonna be icing on the Redmen with 8.06 to go, first period. We're scoreless at Breakaway Arena. C.J. Bailey, the Concord Carlisle goaltender, made 15 saves in that last game against uh, North Andover on the 18th. Again, it's a six and five overall record. And they've got a, a lot of promise. The makeup of the Concord Carlisle team. They've got uh, six juniors. I'm no, so, no, I'm sorry. Six seniors, seven juniors, and ten sophomores. So a uh, good, uh, good view for the coming years. They'll have a good nucleus together. The Redmen, nine seniors, nine juniors, and only three sophomores. So more experience, of course. Having won the, uh, having won it all in the Division Two last year, they return. They're working to break it out now. DiCiaccio, he rushes so smooth on those blades. Goes through, not quite. 
Bodie Rice picks up defensive senior, chips it out. Officials are going to wave off icing. Field is there by Cooper Robola, number 13. Can't connect. He had Barnes briefly, the blue line. Tyler chips it on the wall. Knocks down his guy. Oh, he's going. Takes number seven, Ben Megan there. Down in the corner now. Barnes needs some help. It's Matthew Cook. Tries to go short side roof. Misses. It hits the netting. That will be a face off. We'll see if they call it outside the zone or if it will be uh, must have deflected. So face off is going to be to the right of the goaltender, Jason Swaim. With 7.03. Brady Chapman on the draw. He's out there with Flynn and Crimmin. Mangan and number two, Anthony DeFranco, got the points. DeFranco will step up, tries to throw it through, it gets there. And again, an uh, easy save. The Swaim kind of right at him. Had no Tewksbury Redmen in front for the rebound. Had there been one. So uh, Swaim and Bailey do a lot of rotating, I've been told. And uh, the sophomore looks poised there. So the faceoff this time will be to his left as we look at the right circle. Redmen going from left to right here in this first period. Behind the net now, trying to break out with it. Conquer Carlisle, a little flip to the center right, streaking. It's Jay Carter. Good, good speed. He had that opportunity. Oh, just wide. Went through the goal mouth. Noah Thorpe, the captain, couldn't get it. Shot wide. That time, Ben Ohanian had a look at it. DeFranco takes his guy at the hash mark, and the puck bounces all the way down to the Conquer Kyle zone with 6.18 to go first period in pursuit. Flynn is going to take the corner, separates the puck from the Conquer Kyle in front. Score! What a play! Jay Carter. That's Crimmin. And Carter was taken off the play by... Some aggressive forechecking and great job taking the body down there. And they freed up the puck. Crimmin. Tewksbury on the board. Time of the goal. Eight minutes, 51 seconds in. Connor Crimmin. Good line. All started with a forecheck. Rode at the end to the boards, separated the puck, and there was room out from that time. Flap in on uh, Benny O'Keefe. He'll take the whistle. Tewksbury gets on you very quickly. In that case, use the physical aspect. Crimmin. Oh, look at this. Sudravice. Puck loose in front. Oh, it goes under the legs. Good recovery there. Number 25, Robert Bagan. Out there on the right point. Made a key play. Chipped in now. Why not do an action? Throws it to the wall. Again, aggressive Tyler Barnes. All the way down. That's going to be icing on Conquer Carlisle. Patriots. Tewksbury on the scoreboard. One to nothing. As there's 5-14 to play in the first period. And it's Connor Crimmin. Looks like maybe his second of the year. My stats, they uh, are sometimes delayed by a game or so. But uh, he lights the lamp. And again, big work there by Chapman. And there you see, right, Matthew Cook doing the same thing. Tewksbury down low. They take the body. Benny O'Keefe, watch that rebound. Pad saved. Dangerous. That was Jay Carter, one of the assistant captains. Play. Bounces up on the netting. Another stoppage. Faceoff will be in the dot on the right side. 
Coach Doherty sending Chapman back out there with Flynn. And today's goal scorer, Crimin. And they'll use that right wall, exploiting number 10, Luke Reynas, has been involved. Luke gets hit by Chapman again on that same side, and Chapman wins this puck. Tries to find Crimin again. Almost deja vu, kept in. They can't clear it. Cooper Rovillard can't get it in. Backhanded. Shift up high. Glove Brickley by, uh, by started Healy. Shot in. That was Flynn. And a good save by Jason Swain. Holding the post. From the left wing. Chapman on the draw. Wins to Chacho through the screen. Oh, we had a good look at that one. It hit a deflection. Almost the top corner. Chapman now using his size behind the net. Feeds it to Crimin. He's going to try to outskate Megan for it. For Conquer Carlisle. Down there it's Bodie Rice. Chapman brings it all the way to the cage. And again, trapped by Jason Swaim. Sophomores look good. Beaten just once. At the 8.51 mark. Tyler Bourget on the draw. He's got the Chachio if he can get it back to him. Nope. He's on there with Aiden McDonald. Gets a chip on it. Aiden comes out of the corner by the hash. Flips over. Robillard. Why not trying to throw it to a sea of bodies? Andrew stays with it. Down. In that corner. Tuxbury's had control there. Will Spring, the defensive defenseman, sophomore for the uh, Patriots, has it. And he's on there with Cal Longerin. He's a junior defenseman. They go to the right side. They can't break out. Bourget throwing it back in, doing work at the line. Had it briefly, but thrown back out. Neutral zone to Chaccio. Again, left side. Donald reading the strong side. He blows an edge, followed up, and out of the zone. Robillard, and that quick triangle pass goes to Insagna. Jeremy gets the shot. Pad save. Long rebound for Swain by Swain there. He'll try again. Matty Cook able to muscle the puck in. Gets, meets that red line. So no icing with 2.36 to go in the first period. Looks very up by a one-goal lead. Conquer Carlisle can't get a sustained breakout. We've had a, a couple of opportunities. That time, three red men back. They make it really difficult. Oh, uh, a quick turnover, quick skating. It's Jay Carter again. He's been the best forward so far. Been involved for the Patriots. They'll chip it back in. Ben Ohanian, D sophomore, making a good play. Barnes with a skating advantage gets it deep. Cook will step up. Conquer Carlisle just throwing it in. Trying to wait for a Tuxbury mistake. And they'll pounce on it there. Look like a good skating team. And again, handled down deep by goaltender J Jason Swaim. And there'll be another faceoff with 1.45 to go. Both teams changing lines. Tuxbury's had the uh, historic advantage here versus. The Patriots, you know, last year certainly uh, beat them fairly easy by giving a one score on the 24th of February and a little before then by a score of 7 to 2. That one may have been on the road. Year before that, they didn't play. It was COVID and uh, in the 2020, the 19, I'm sorry, the 2020 season. That'd be uh, 1920. They were 0 and 2 again, beating Tuxbury, beating the Patriots by a score of 5 to 2, and then 3 to 1. So a little closer. Benny O'Keefe will gobble that rebound in. Good chance from the left circle. Lucas DeMarco had a look at it. Lucas. Probably uh, the top point getter tied with, um, no, Carter would be the top point getter with about 20 points. DeMarco, who you just saw there, take the shot. He's a 12-point player, so point a game. We'll watch him throughout this game. 
We have one minute to go in the first period of play, and the Tewksbury Redmen holding to the one to nothing advantage. Robillard fans at it. Three on two. Look, CC going through. Carter can't make the play. And Sogner now. He's got Cook if he can get him. Oh, good pick there. Excellent read by Ben O'Hanian. Defenseman as well. 11 points. Here's a chance for Insagna. He's in deep. Shot. Short side. He goes high and misses wide. Plenty of speed, though. Explosive. Jeremy and Sogner in from that right wing. And he just flipped it short of that, uh, that post. Left post up high. There'll be 21 seconds and a chance to set it up here for the Redmen. Insagna, Barnes, and Cook, the big line, stay out. Officials. Cacciaccio read it perfectly. He snuck right down. Insagna covers for him at the point. Jeremy off the wall. Ten seconds. The Redmen can hurry. Crimin in on the hit. Pinning the Patriots down deep. Cacciaccio has to hurry. She throws it through. There might have been a chance had it gone in, but a good save by Jeremy, I'm sorry, by Jason Swaim. And that's gonna close it out for the first period. Tewksbury Redmen lead the Concord Carlisle Patriots by a score of one to nothing here at Breakaway. Stay with us for second period action right after the, this break. So welcome back, Tewksbury Telemedia. We're at Breakaway Arena, where the Tewksbury Redmen have a one to nothing lead over the Concord Carlisle Patriots. Thanks for joining us. Bill Allen, Steve Parfum, a camera engineer for this afternoon. Crowd filling back in. Your red men will go from left to right here in the second period. Both teams have the long change. And uh, the only difference, the goal by Connor Kremen. They open that score! Well, to start a period. Matthew Cook buries it. And just like that, on a fresh sheet of ice, the Redmen take a 2 to nothing lead here. Benny O'Keefe loves it. Goaltender captain, as do the fans over to his left in Fan Alley. A lot of the Tewksbury students bring the energy. Quick play. And a bounce, we had Matthew Cook took advantage of the bounce and Tyler Bonds picks up an assist as well. And Redmond, time of that goal. 12 seconds in, first, uh, second period of play, two to nothing lead. Tewksbury's picking up the energy now. Barnes and Sogne, Jerry Mays, right wing wall. Can't, uh, Robillard made his best effort to save it on the point. Flips it back over. Barnes throws it back in. And Sogna will try to flesh him out. Pressure coming on uh, Gunner Lyons. Cook on a extra fast on a clean sheet of ice. Benny O'Keefe. Leaves it for Matthew Cook. Goals now in the last three straight home games here. Truly one of the leaders for the Redmen as they try to defend their Division II championship. And the team's off to an excellent start. All the way down the puck in the Tewksbury zone, down in the back wall. Picaccio skates through two Patriots, still going. Gets the puck at the left hash mark. Barnes, Tewksbury will try to change one-on-one -on -one through a screen. Nice idea there by Tyler Brown, just short of the uh, Jason Swain's left, the goaltender for Conquer Carlisle. Beaten twice. Once by Crimin in that first period, and nothing he can do about that. Matthew Cook shot to start the second period. Redmen in good shape here with a two-to-nothing advantage. Tyler Barnes always going, picks up the helper. Brady Chapman with Crimin out. Number seven, Ryan Flynn, of course. And uh, defenseman, we see uh, Michael Connors 
out there with number two, Anthony DeFranco. Chapman trying to set it up in front. Went through one set of legs, but not two. And skating hard, it's started Hearley, the sophomore on that right wing wall. Can't connect, puck deflects on the other side. Healy hitting, Chapman into help, Crimmen. Healy with the help of Cam Dole. Goes to the right side wall now. Crimmen again will try to break it out, has Flynn, connects. Ryan fighting through the neutral zone, can't collect it. Indirectly now it's Will Spring. Good idea, Flynn throws it to the net. Stabbed by Swain, he deflects it left side into the Tewksbury zone. Hawka Carlo able to keep it in and go for a change. Just underway, second period of play. And it's the Tewksbury Redmen with a second goal in that first shift. Lead the Patriots by a two to nothing score here. Now a turnover, taking it deep. Good D-man that time by DeFranco. Good stick, kept it low, deflects the puck behind the net. Flynn took a hit of his man, and the play was able to deflect all the way back. Another good four check. Brady Chapman shoots it in and allows Tewksbury to change right on cue. Tyler Bourget on the four check. Dump down the wall. Big chance. What a play by Why Not In front, just wide. Set up nicely. Just started. Healy had a look. Did a one-timer, just a little wide of the net. A little patience shown by the Patriots that time, and best chance of the period for them. The two-on-one puck bounced their way. Hops over to Chaccio all the way in on Mangan. Officials wave off the icing, and he starts the breakout. Trying to connect with Zivitrice. Peter gets it to the diagonal corner, and allow uh, Why Not and Boyer to double team. Forces the errant pass to Chachio, of course, reads it. With some steam, he goes in deep. Peels off. Let's why not work. Boche now. Right corner, hash mark. It's Lebedini able to chip it out. Headman the puck. It's Cam Daly. Twists and turn it down. Behind the kick plate, it rolls. Left hash. Cacciaccio knocks down Brody Rice. Barnes goes. Fantastic pad save. That time, Swaim had to come out. And calmly collects that one with the glove off the stick of Jeremy and Sogna. Goaltender shows some poise there. Swaim coming out about uh, three, two or three feet outside that blue crease of his. Took the angle away. A nice pad save. Jeremy, of course, following it up. Throws it at the net, no rebound. Face-off's going to be in the right circle with Jeremy and Sagna out there. You see Robert Baggin on the point, along with Cooper Robillard. Barnes and Cook, of course. Baggin now able to keep it in. It's a left-hand shot playing that right deep. Good job there. On the turnaround, just deflected off the shoulder. Good idea by Matthew Cook. He's trying to go top shelf. And he's the reason we're up by two here in the second period. Opening shift, he and Tyler Barnes connect. And Sogden down on the draw. O'Hanen tries to turn it. Cook reads it, though. Tewksbury keeps the pressure on. Barnes. Bagan, another good job keeping it in. Good read by Robert Bagan at the point. Senior D-man is going to have to go all the way back for it. Icing called on the Conquer Carlisle Patriots with 9.25 to play in the second period here. Tewksbury making it hard other than that one opportunity for Conquer Carlisle to get the actual positioning they need to get Benny O'Keefe. Benny riding the shutout so far. He's got uh, three this year. D to D. Robillard now behind the net. Flynn gets bumped off. 
Staccaccio reads it, throwing it to the net was Crimin. Flynn gets a poke. Robillard again, sets up the play. J Chapman, he gets some speed. He'll take the body, as he did in that support of Crimin's first goal to open the scoring today in the first period. Flynn knocks his guy down, no call. Picaccio goes through, Nick and goal post. Oh, just missed it. Puck still loose. Picaccio almost rung that one up. He loves that move. It makes it probably more than half the time between those defensemen's legs. Great hands, Nick Picaccio. He makes the hit, keeps the puck. Benny O'Keefe taking no chances by the left post. And there'll be a face-off. We're about halfway through the second period, halfway through this game. The Red Men in control. Trying to pick up their fifth straight victory against Conquer Carlisle. And face-off on. Breaks. McDonald. Scooped up. Good thing uh, Swaim caught that on the short hop. Otherwise, he'd have uh, Bourget right on his doorstep for an easy tap-in. Good quick love we've seen here from Jason Swain. The sophomore goaltend is the real deal. Faceoff's going to be in the left circle to Swain's right. Bourget, Tyler's got uh, Why Not. McDonald. Why Not. He's going to work the corner. He's got Bourget in to help. Picaccio can't get it through the seat of bodies, but to why not? Score! Andrew, why not? Lights the lamp for the Redmen, and if the score is three to nothing, and Conquer Carlisle's gonna have their work cut out for them now. Went short side, and that one uh, surprised Swaim. Wish he could maybe have that one back. Ben Ohanian going back. And it will uh, trigger a goaltending change as we're going to see C.J. Bailey, the junior goaltender, come in. Tough goal that time on Swaim. And as we saw previously on that nice save he made, he had the angle. That one uh, left some room open. And uh, why not made him pay? Picks up his seventh point of the year. Couple of goals and some helpers. Why not? Throws it back at the new goaltender. Why not? Pun intended. Been sitting and uh, Redman can get on him quickly and really make this a runaway. Three to nothing lead here in the Mites. Redman bench pumped. Happy for him. He's been working the corners tight. May have got a little. Uh, Got some of that short side, a little improbable, but you put those pucks on the net, they go in. The Redmen love it. Don't know why the whistle, it may have deflected, hit the netting. With 7.51 to go here. The officials confer. Faceoff's gonna be in the left circle. And that's CJ Bailey's right junior the goaltender. Played in the last game, as I had mentioned, versus North Andover. Backing him to a three to one victory. In front, oh, Tyler Barnes was in alone. The other D had vacated, but caught it at the last moment. Cullen Mangan reverses. Beautiful pass. Insagna's gonna go in. Shot, oh, he had the move, just short side. Little wide. What a pass by Matty Cook. Had eyes on it on the spin around. Insagna read him. Jeremy, pinpoint play. From the slot, and a first save by Bailey. Strong. Redmen turning up the heat here, tilting the ice. Barnes now collects in front, a tip. How nice, since Sogna has set that up. Perfect play. Would have been a nice, fancy uh, goal for sure. It's going top corner. Not to be. Cook controls around the boards. Makes a move. Great pad save by Bailey. Yeah, there's some skill. That was a great shot and a great save. Deflects to the corner. Conquer Carlisle in trouble here, having to ice the puck. And the Redmen with a couple of energetic shifts after the goal. 
by number 23. Why not? The most recent. Halfway through the second period. Left circle, it's Chapman. Flynn off the wall, scores! Ryan Flynn gets in on the action. Four to nothing for the Redmen. Time of this goal, eight minutes, 18 seconds. C.J. Bailey reacted a little late, may have been screened, but Flynn from that hash mark pegged it far corner. And maybe a timeout call here by Coach uh, Ryan Murray. Kind of calm things down, try to get the Patriots reorganized. Redmond, Derek Doherty saying, don't let up. Is the new goaltender C.J. Bailey. Couple of shots, and the Redmen solve him. Keep throwing pucks at that net, boys. And the Redmen say, let's keep rolling, let's keep rolling. 6.42 to go here in the second period, and the Redmen uh, well in control here. What you want to do is keep the pressure on, keep moving that puck. Don't get complacent, because uh, We've seen turnarounds, a fluke, power play, like they used to say, right? And Conquer Carlisle can get right back in it. They've got to regroup. Chapman Crimmen and the Ryan Flynn, who they're calling right now on the PA. Staccio picks up a help, a big hit on the wall. We'll see if there's a penalty coming or if it was uh, just an offside. Heavy hit below us, I couldn't see it, but I felt it. And we're perched up here, Steve, about what, uh, 10 feet up. We don't get to see what goes on underneath. Face off will be to the right circle. There is a penalty. And it's on the uh, Redmen. Flynn's going to sit for two minutes. We'll see the hit. I'm going to su suspect it's a uh, uh, cross-checking or some some takedown. Either way, the red men are going to be short-handed. Here's an opportunity for the Conquer Carlisle Patriots. Get that first one. Stop building on something and clear it all the way down. Cook now short-handed with plenty of speed. Conquer Carlisle needs to match it. That's the difference. Thorpe couldn't get going. But a good play there by Carter. The ace for the Patriots. Someone who knows how to close as well. Barnes puts it in front. Had Cook briefly, short-handed. Puck deflects to number nine, Cam Dole. Here's Cam, here's a chance. Shot, Benny O'Keefe with the glove. Benny was leaning. May have left a little opening on that far post from this angle, but he snared it with the glove. Takes, takes the chances and uh, seals it off. Benny O'Keefe working the shutout as we speak. Play bounced off the net again, short-handed. Barnes, oh, if he had in Sogna. He's got the uh, at least two. Taking valuable time off the clock. Great, great work down in the corner by the hash mark. And Sogna helps, forces it. Barnes still creating havoc. He's killing this penalty by himself. There's 14 seconds to go. What work. Now he has three going. Doesn't allow DeMarco, who is waiting for some sort of breakout, to do anything. Great power play. Opportunity kind of... Gone for naught here by Concord. Last chance. The penalty's up. Five aside. An outstanding kill by the Redmen. Robillard finds to Chaccio with plenty of open ice. Nick's lethal. Doesn't get through. Good deflection there by Bodie Rice for Concord Carlisle. Flaps it off the glass. Neutral zone is controlled by Robillard. Chip by Insagna and then back into the neutral zone. 
Benny O'Keefe leaves it for DiCiaccio. Slides it around the right wing. Flynn can't connect, but DiCiaccio chips it out of harm's way. He's going to make the hit. And they back off DiCiaccio. Bodie Rice had nowhere to go. Gave up the puck. That's the idea. Chip back in, delayed offside. Insagna. Rob Robillard indirectly back to Insagna. Jeremy gets through Rice. Going all the way to the corner. Burst of speed. Rainer's trying to slow him down. Crimin, who's on the board today, open the scoring. Can't get it. That's going to be cleared back down. That's going to be icing on Conquer Carlisle. Some verbal spats going on between the players. CC might be a little frustrated. They want to get their game going. Faceoff is going to be the officials trying to reline. Silver Therese. No, that's Bourget. I apologize. Backhanded all the way down the Benny O'Keefe. Mangan now. Can't find Silver Therese, who's on the other wing. And we'll do it again. Face off down in the Tuxbury zone. Three minutes exactly to play. Take a look at the uh, Conquer Carlisle uh, stats in their 6 and 5 record. 36 goals for, 24 against, so a plus 12. Of course, the Redmen, with today's effort, they have 40, uh, 47 goals and just 13 allowed for a plus 26. Strong numbers. You've got to have the goaltending and two of the goals from far angles victimizing the Patriots here. Benny O'Keefe called on to make a few key saves. We saw a good one there just moments ago with his glove. They were able to chip the puck down. There's some good hustle by the Patriots to get the, pro the uh, puck in. Turned over. Go goal post. Did it go in? Still loose. Big play there by Lucas DeMarco. Trying to pick up his sixth goal of the year, and I thought I heard goal post on that one. Close call. Best chance for the uh, Patriots. And they uh, got Tuxbury to turn the puck over and uh, responded quickly. Good play. Benny O'Keefe sprawled, and the puck was underneath him. Kyla Bonds now. Cook, he breaks his checks. He's in. He gets pulled down. Don't know if it will be penalty shot enough. But that's uh, certainly a uh, tug. And we'll get to see the Tuxbury Redmen on the power play for the first time this afternoon. With two minutes to play, that would uh, finish the period out. If they don't score, of course. This Tuxbury a lot to contend with their skating ability in that case. Breaking the plane he had. Couple of players with him. Crimin reads it now with the power play on for the Redmen. Out there with Insagna. Matty Cook plays the point on the power play. To DiCiaccio through the screen. Can't get a tip. Collected nicely by C.J. Bailey that time. Faceoff will be in the right circle to his left. Coach Murray changing out the... Uh, the forwards who will control the uh, tops of the circles. They normally box out. It's a hooking penalty, of course. In front, Barnes doing his part. Through a screen, Matthew Cook. And a nice save by Bailey. No rebound. Gonka Carlisle doing a good job that time, keeping uh, Tuxbury out of the front of the crease. Giving their goaltender a chance. They'll do the face-off again in Sogna. We'll see how uh, in the skates that one will call a tie. Barnes now behind the net. So strong behind that goal line and in the corners. Leaves it for Crimin. They try to back off. All three white on the right wall. 
They want to open up, get somebody in the bumper. Coming out. Oh, Kriminova skated it, but recovered is in Sogna. To Barnes. Kyla takes a player with him. That's number 14, Lebedini. Cook, back door. Oh, almost worked. Red Crimin, it was a high up. Caught him maybe off just the, uh, a foot off the shaft of his stick. And broke wide. Here's an opportunity shorthanded. Could this work for the Patriots in on Penny O'Keefe? It's wide. Good play by DeChaccio to stay with them. Big opportunity that time. It's Daly. Daly's still out there chipping it in. Best opportunity as he picked it up. Oh, be careful. DeChaccio. Nice job there getting picked. Eight seconds left on the power play. Matthew Cook takes it down the far wall. Has Flynn going to the net. Ryan's on the board with the fourth goal, and that's going to wrap it for the period. A successful one with three goals, beginning with that first shift. And uh, Tewksbury, Redmen in control here at Breakaway Arena. Stay with us for third period action momentarily. And welcome back to Breakaway Arena. Tewksbury Telemedia, proud to bring you Tewksbury Redmen hockey. And it's been a uh, strong effort thus far by the Tewksbury Redmen as they open the third period with a four to nothing lead. Enough to take care of business. Uh, Conquer Carlisle Patriots have some work to do. And the teams will of course change zones once Tewksbury will go from right to left this period. As they do in the first. And uh, continue to work pucks. He's talking to Coach Doherty between periods. And uh, he says the team's working. You know, the team's working hard. They're into the game. And they're pulling for one another. Staccio now, both teams five on five. Uses the full ice. Feathers it down behind the net. C.J. Bailey, who came on on relief of Jason Swaim. Dropped it behind the net. Tewksbury and... Of course, Tyler Barnes, number 14. Oh, a shot through there by Robillard. And Sogna had a chance to tip it. Out there with Maddie Cook. Barnes in the corner. Reverse cycle of Sogna Uses size. He stood up there by number six, Marcus Braceris, the assistant captain. Can't feather it out. Intercepted at the post by Bailey. He'll trap it. Just underway here in the third period. And it's... Uh, Tewksbury in control. Face off in the right circle. This is going to be to uh, Bailey's left. Teams have changed. Oh, the give and go. Chapman to Krimen. We've seen that early. Opening the game, of course. They've been on the board this line. Cacciaccio still out there. And a good job by Labadini but recovered by the captain. Look at Krim and go. Right wing wall with plenty of speed and power. Puck stays with them. Behind the back, Flynn now who's got to help it. Oh, in front to Chapman. Didn't have much room to get a shot away. May have healed it. Bailey took care of it. Chapman back, his first game after missing the last one as we mentioned. Involved. Ryan Flynn now goes through, makes his own space. One more move. Oh, it came off his stick. DiCaccio still out there. He could play the whole game. You know, and Benny Keith, a little flutter on a deflection. He takes care of that. Sometimes those could be the tricky ones. Faceoff will be down to his uh, right. So the Redmen get uh, Newton South as their next opponent. That will be on February, I'm sorry, uh, the 25th. So that will be uh, coming up in the following week. Blowing an edge there at Boje. Behind the net though, McDonald, he gets wrapped in the bench by Stoddard Healy. 
O'Shea behind. Why not? Who's on the board? Flipped up. It's going to be uh, just outside the zone as there was a deflection. Conca Carlisle in their next uh, game on the 25th will be against uh, Lincoln Sudbury, which has ramifications. Nice job there with his foot. Cullen Mangan chipped all the way down. McDonald gets him. Mangan with a shot. Actually uh, broke, had some English on it. Peeled in, may have been wide, but blocker save by Bailey. Tuxbury able to maintain control. That's a good opportunity by Barnes with the help of Bourget who's coming off for a change. Deflection in Sogna. Got one defenseman to meet. Barassus will go back again with Sogna. Forces the pass too quick. Tuxbury turns it over. The Red Men control. Oh, hops over Mangan stick now. It's a good burst of speed put on by uh, Labadini, who we've called a few times. Doing his best on the right wing wall. Collects now. And Sogna, he's got Cook going to the net. Oh, and Maddie had a quick piece of it. Pass might have been too hot, and he had traffic coming. The intensity picks up. You can hear the Tuxbury bench. Come on. You know, we want a good shift, better shift, push. As they try to pick up the next goal. They're in command, though. Deflected pass. Cook and Sagna taking on a couple of opponents. Doing the dirty work was Tyler Barnes, and they're going to end up icing the puck again, the Patriots. With 11 minutes to go, we're working through the third period here. Tuxbury, Redmen in control. Taking a look at the uh, Merrimack Valley Conference 2 standings, I was just kind of thinking about that with that uh, opportunity. Lincoln Sudbury still one point advantage at the top. Their only blemish was that overtime loss to Lincoln Sudbury. Otherwise, the Redmen would be there. In terms of the uh, Hockey Night rankings, Hockey Night in Boston, Canton still at the moment the number one seed followed by Tewksbury shortly thereafter. Picaccio now all the way to the end back wall, right side, Chapman into help. And flipped out of the zone again. Some good speed by Concord's Jay Carter. Jay with Robillard taking care of him. Crimin. Some excellent work being put in by the Red Men off the puck. So they're making sure that they've got layers. Here's an opportunity though with Thorpe through a screen. Not a bad idea with uh, Gunner Lyons cutting across maybe for a screen or a tip. They have to work quickly though. It's Tewksbury is quick to recover. And again, out inside out. Good play by Crimin. One of the stars of the game, I'd say. He's just been going since the opening faceoff. Cleared in Bourget. Sivatrice is going to read it on that wall. He's out there with Began. He's made some good reads on the line today. They're going to leave it for Robillard. Concord able to make the change. Sivatrice, why not? Bumps with Megan in the middle. Sivatrice, nice pass. Roger handles it, makes a move. Stays on his feet, gets the shot away. Great work by Bourget. Barnes on the forecheck. He's going to go all the way. Catches up with Ben O'Hanian. 
forcing the sophomore just to dump it in. Robert Bagan now, and Sogna, oh, trying to catch a line change as the D had changed up. Cook's pass just ahead, though. And Sogna, relentless, bodies Bodie Rice to the ice. Right side wall. Barnes into the skates of Insagna. Tuxbury trying to set up. Barnes knows that territory well. A good escape. That was started Healy. In front, save, rebound, score! Matt Cook slides it underneath C.J. Bailey. There's the five spot. Time of the goal, seven minutes, 13 seconds, and it looks like Cook's second of the game. We'll wait for the announcement, see who gets assists. But he slid it under the pad. And that line continues to lead. Two more goals for Matthew Cook. And he and uh, DeCaccio, in terms of leading, scoring, Goals assist numbers, of course, for the Redmen. Leading the way. Chipped all the way down. Maddie Cook on the goal. Unassisted, so no assists on the play. Turn around. They need to work quick on the shots. Stokesbury's been quick to recover. Puck down, they'll be icing on the Redmen. We're halfway through the third period, five to nothing. Five goal differential, the Redmen taking care of them. Business here. Yeah, the Division II rankings, Canton with a nine and two record. Of course, uh, Tuxbury's gonna go to nine and one today. We'll see how Canton does in their game. Silver Lake, here's a shot. Oh, what a good opportunity going to the far corner. Just missed it. Jay Carter again. Gunner Lions. Trying to find Braceris. DeFranco now. Swatted down. That whistle will blow. Now the officials uh, would have blown the whistle had Concord Carlisle touched it. Tuxbury did. And the official said, hey, sorry, my bad. Blew the whistle too quick and uh, accountable. So no, <laughs> no worries there. Finishing up that... Um, Division two thing there. Silver Lake third at nine and two. Duxbury at seven and four. And Walpole fifth place. Redmen with six and a half to go. In control here on the wall. Grimman to Chapman. Brady's got two on him. Takes a stick. That doesn't help the case. Off the skate, wow! C.J. Bailey had to have a quick reflex there. That's what uh, happens, number 10. That was Renus. The junior defenseman had the stick knocked out of his hands on some strong work by Chapman. Then he went to pursue the puck without the stick and it hits his skate as he cuts across the dangerous crease area. Could have been should have been six. Got Michael Makata, the defenseman, the freshman defenseman, getting a shift here now. Got a shot. Coach Doherty going with the younger team. And let's see, face off if uh, all the way down to the zone intentionally, or if there's a penalty. I think it will just be a. Intentional. And again, number nine, Michael Makata, freshman defenseman on the left point. He's on with Jason Lavoy, number three. Number 15, that's Victor Pacheco. Makata now. Lavoy. Good pursuit by Pacheco. Down into the wall, number 17, Jackson Fudo. 
So Jackson in the Fenway game. Oh, broke through Benny O'Keefe. Just wide of the net. Close call as the Patriots got a good shot there. That was uh, Noah Thorpe getting a rip. Fudo now going to the net. Bourget, great skate save, rebound. Still almost, still loose. Whoa, by the net. As Bouget had a chance, it fluttered in. Some aggressive work there by Jackson Fudo. And that puck was inches from being a sixth goal. Call it a touchdown for the Redmen and, uh, and the play carried on. The net was dislodged as bodies went flying. So the young line hungry to produce. They had a great shift. C.N. Dawson out there as well. For the Redmen. Penalty called on the result of that uh, physical infraction by the net as the young Redmen forced the play at the net. Made the penalty as they're setting up the uh, power play now. You got the big line of Insagna, Cook, Kremen. Of course, the Chachio can rush it. Barnes down below us. And it's Maddie Cook going for the hat. Twist turns, goes to the net. What a play. And a great save by Bailey. Going right and throwing it back left. That's how it's done. Almost the hat trick there. Across to Crimmon, who's got a goal. Back. Good, Matt Cook with his skill. Just sends it in, oh, to the slot. Right in the bumper was Insagna. Just healed it. Across to the right point. Finds back to a goal with number four. That's the Chaccio. Insagna. See if the Chaccio has room. And a great save there by Bailey and at the flex into the netting. 4-11 to go. 58 seconds on the power play. And a powerful one by the Redmen. They set up. Some great playmaking by Matthew Cook. Right on the elbow, as they call it when you're on the power play. Yeah. Fit it right into the slot. And of course, on the back door, DeCaccio. Sneaking down, always dangerous. Chapman out there with Bourget and Ryan Flynn. Each of the lines contributing. And there's five to nothing lead for the Redmen. As we're four minutes away from their ninth victory of the season. Chapman and Flynn in the corner. The points are open. And right on cue to Robillard. He's handcuffed. Nice pass across. Gone wide. DeFranco took a shot perfectly like low and tippable, but no one home for the Redmen there. Down in the back, down the back wall. Boyer. He's got DeFranco again. Same idea. This time it does work. And the tip does happen. Tuxbury's got it sixth. A shot with purpose from DeFranco. Nice and low and deflected in. We'll decide. We'll see what they call who scored it. May have been Bourget. We'll see. But DeFranco has a helper for sure. And Tuxbury opens up a six to nothing lead. Time of the goal, 11 minutes and 24 seconds. 11-24, the third period, it's six to nothing. Redmen keep pushing, they want the extra point. The Chacho to the screen doesn't go. It's Chapman, welcome back Brady. Bourget with a helper. Off the wall, smart play. Lavoie now, two on one. Going, oh, just under the stick of Pacheco. Got a nice burst of speed. C.N. Dawson doing battle at the line. Takes care of his man, he shoulders him off. Chip back in for Tuxbury. 2.49 to go. Till really Ben O'Keefe's ability to Go for his fourth shutout. The only thing remaining here. The Redmen want to keep territorial. 
And I bet the uh, Patriots want to just break that shutout behind the net. They've got bodies deep. Dawson connects with Bourget. In and out it goes. He can wheel. He's a good skater. He's got some moves. Shot to uh, Bailey's left this time. He takes care of it. Junior goaltender has been under a little bit more siege here in this period. Redman on the power play. Hits Chapman on the shot from DeFranco. I think there was another assist as well. I'll have to check it. I don't know if it was Boyer, but uh, he's out there now, waved out of the faceoff zone. Why not? Who has a goal too? Follow up by Boyer. Shoots. Oh, deflected. Uh, I'm going to give the goaltender save for that. It was a short side, deflected behind the net. Chipped up there by Michael Connors, number six. Back to the neutral zone. Big hit here at the boards, Ryan Flynn. Here's a chance in deep. Shot Benny O'Keefe on Dole. Again, Conquer Carlisle not giving up. Benny takes care of the business. He's doing his part. That was Borgia. I may have called Ryan Flynn on that one. That hit prior to the, the bench. It was Ben Mangan, the other number seven, who got crushed on the Tuxbury boards. Coming out the wall. Good chance. Nice effort there by Carter. Behind the back. All oh, the stuff doesn't work. Minute and a half to go. Good push here. That last shift by Conker Carlisle. Lavoy now dumps it deep. Is the young Redmond continue? Fudo on there. Good wheels by Lavoy. Takes his man. The point Robert Bagan. Cross ice. Feathered back into the zone. It's a minute to play in the period. Tuxbury commanding six to nothing lead here at breakaway. Intercepted in front. Big chance in front. Doesn't work. Kept in briefly, then skated out by Boiget. Jeez, uh, Ben O'Hanian had a chance in front of Benny O'Keefe. Just couldn't corral it. Would have been a backhand opportunity. C.N. Dawson chips it out. He's on with the Chaccio. Silva Therese now on. Oh, he's going, pokes it ahead. He's got traffic. He's got three men with him. Boy, Jay follows it up. Throws it to his partner down there now. Peter Civitrice. To Chaccio through the screen. Off the crossbar. That was the point after chance. The captain taking a chance. McDonald wraps it, and that's going to wrap us here at Breakaway Arena. The Tuxbury Redmen, dominant victory. They're skating, all the lines taking part, defeating the Conk and Carlisle Patriots by a score of six to nothing, and uh, move to a nine and one record in their Division Two flight here this season. This is Bill Allen with Steve Pafum on behalf of Tuxbury Telemedia. Thank you for joining us for Redmen Hockey. We'll catch you next time. Final score, six to nothing for the Tuxbury Redmen.